between working full-time, going to school full-time while raising a child. I failed multiple courses, which led to me ultimately losing my full-ride scholarship that I worked so hard to earn. So here's how I did it, and here's three ways that you can do. One, be delusional about your future. <laughs> By definition, delusional is maintaining the fixed, false belief, even when confronted with the facts. You see, statistically, I wasn't supposed to graduate high school, let alone earn two degrees before the age of 30. I was told by the director of student services at my undergraduate college that I, in fact, would never get accepted into pharmacy school because my GPA of 2.2, he said, was absolutely too low. But God, because here I am today. I constantly put my faith over fear. I told myself that this is possible. If I could conjure up numerous ways that this could not happen for me, I could come up with the one way that it absolutely could. So bet on yourselves and embrace the possible failures that are a part of your journey. Two, be determined. Have the willpower to constantly show up for yourselves and for each other. You see, although I was delusional, I was logical. I knew my odds of getting in were low, so I saved up and I applied to 14 schools of pharmacy. I interviewed at only two and was accepted at just this one. I was so determined, just like my classmates and the rest of the Larkin students, even through life's transitions of sickness, financial disparities, and traveling miles away from family, away from our support systems, even experiencing death of our closest loved ones days before an exam and be expected to perform as if nothing happened. We have had the willpower to show up for ourselves. Number three, be disciplined. I train my mind to believe that I am so deserving and that I am so capable. And you are too.
You see, raising a kid was not the hardest part. Most people think that is. It is believing in yourself when you've never seen something done before. You have to make the blueprint that you need and be that for yourself. I chose to change my habits to represent my mindset, and I just want you all to know that you have the ultimate control over the trajectory of your life, no matter what. As we step into the roles of pharmacists where we will dispense medications and practice patient care, I would like to thank, on behalf of my class, I would like to send a tremendous form of gratitude to our families and friends who have acted as pharmacists when we needed it most. Medicating us with love, injecting us with laughter, and giving us the remedy of hope and encouragement when we had thoughts of anxiety and depression, when we did feel worthless. Again, be delusional, be determined, be disciplined. Thank you to my family and friends who surprised didn't know I was giving this speech. <laughs> to see me graduate today. Special thank you to my sister, my mom, my beautiful daughter, who is gonna be 12. Hi, Kenya, Miss Tina, Miss Julie. I want to leave you all with encouragement to continue to plant positive seeds within ourselves, water them daily with affirmations and kind thoughts so that you can bloom into who you are meant to be. Thank you so much, congratulations.